Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting and powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we are going to solve one very interesting problem from cubic equation. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. First method, I will use trigonometry. Second method, I will use algebra cubic formula. So let's get started by writing method number one. And here I, I will give substitution that is x is equal to 2 cos alpha. This is my trigonometric substitution. And but before that I will write our equation in LHS first. So x cube minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. This is our equation. And see this is our substitution. So let's substitute this value into the equation. So what I will get c I will write 2 cos alpha whole cube done then I will put over there minus 3 times 2 cos alpha then constant is there so I will write plus 1 equal to 0 expand it 2 cube is 8 and cos alpha cube that means cos cube alpha minus 6 cos alpha plus 1 equal to 0. From first two term I can see 2 is common. I will take 2 common out. So I will write 4 cos cube alpha minus 3 cos alpha bracket close plus 1 equal to 0. Now one identity is about to come that is the formula of 4 cos cube alpha minus 3 cos alpha. So let me remind you only cos 3a is 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. This is what we know. So let's apply over there. So what I will write 2 times, let me write here, 2 times this is cos 3 alpha. Okay, plus 1 equal to 0. In if I will take away 1 from both sides, I will write 2 cos 3 alpha equal to negative 1. Divide both sides with 2. So I can write cos 3 alpha equal to minus 1 over 2. And almost we have solved 80% of the problem. Only general solution is left. So let's find out general solution quickly. I will consider cos 3 alpha equal to minus 1 over 2. So it is cos 120. So general solution if I will write here cos x is equal to suppose cos alpha then we can write x is equal to 2n pi plus minus alpha where alpha lies between 0 to pi. This is what we know. So let's apply over here. So I will write 3 alpha equal to 2k pi plus minus 2 pi over 3. Okay. Now I will put k, k belongs to integer. So I will put few values of k. So let's put over there k equal to 0. Let's write alpha first. Alpha will be equal to 2k pi over 3 plus minus 2 pi over 9 where k belongs to integer. Okay. Now this is our ultimate general solution. Here I am going to put k equal to 0. So first value of alpha I will be having plus minus 2 pi over 9. So from the logic it should be 0 to pi. I will reject minus sign or I can conclude my statement through solution x is equal to what was our substitution our substitution was x is equal to 2 cos alpha if you can see this x is equal to 2 cos alpha so i will write here 2 cos plus minus 2 pi over 9 and cos of minus theta is cos theta so it won't affect anywhere so it is 2 cos 2 pi over 9 and if you will find this value then this value is coming out 1.532. So this is our first solution. Now I will put k equal to 1. I will write alpha is equal to 
let me consider this one common denominator so first i can write let me write here alpha is equal to 1 then 2 pi over 3 plus minus 2 pi over 9 so we can write multiplying first term by 3 numerator denominator so i can write 6 pi over 9 plus minus 2 pi over 9 so once i will take plus sign i will be having 8 pi over 9 so i will write 8 pi over 9 and when i will consider minus sign it would be 4 pi over 9 so two solutions are there and how we will calculate solutions in our substitution x is equal to i will write 2 cos 8 pi over 9 so this value will come out if you will check this value 8 pi over 9 is pi minus pi over 9 so that value will be minus 1.8793 this is second solution and third solution would be x is equal to this third value 4 pi over 9 so 2 cos 4 pi over 9 so 2 cos 4 pi over 9 is 0 0.3472 it would give solution okay now you can conclude few more things up from here that general solution it, it should be lying in in between 0 to pi more logics are there but there are three solutions for your given cubic equation now let me take you towards second way of solving this problem so method number two that is algebraic method it is called formula method or you can say cardano method so if i will write our equation x cube minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 now i will compare with the standard one x cube plus ax plus b equal to 0 as it is already in the depressed form so no need to consider anything so what i will use here directly i will use formulas so we know that standard formula alpha cube is equal to minus b by 2 plus square root b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 this is alpha cube and similarly beta cube in between only minus sign difference minus b by 2 b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 let's put the values now if you will compare both the equations a is straight away minus 3 b is straight away 1 you can see here both values are known let's apply so i will write alpha cube is equal to minus b by 2 so i will write minus 1 by 2 b is 1 plus the square root of b square that is 1 square 1 1 by 4 and then a cube so minus 27 over 27 so let me write directly minus 27 over 27 minus 1 okay similarly i will write beta cube that would be same value minus 1 by 2 minus sign in between so i will write a square root 1 over 4 minus 1 okay minus 1 by 2 plus i will write here minus 3 inside the square root let me write minus 3 over 4 here i will write minus 1 by 2 minus minus 3 over 4 okay the square root of minus 1 is i so i will write over there i so it is minus 1 plus i root 3 and root 4 is 2 so denominator will be 2 from beta cube we can write minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2 this is alpha cube this is beta cube now you can see once i will consider cube root then i will be having my alpha and beta values so if i will write alpha is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 whole power 1 over 3 that means cube root then you will be having 0 0.766 plus 0.642i so this is our alpha now beta 
similarly we can write beta value also it would be the complex conjugate of that so let me write directly 766 only minus sign difference was there so here it is positive so you will get here negative so 0 0.766 minus 0 0.642 i simple now alpha beta known we can find out x1 x2 x3 three roots of the cubic equation so let me write x1 so this is straight away x1 will be equal to alpha plus beta x2 will be equal to alpha omega plus beta omega square and third root of the equation would be in place of alpha we will put alpha same way but omega square and beta same way in place of omega square we will write omega okay now let's put the value of alpha and beta so alpha was 0 0.766 plus 0 0.642 i and plus 0 0.766 minus 0 0.642 i complex conjugates so what we will get 2 times 0 0.766 and if you will check this value it is our first solution 1.532 now come to x2 so let me write x2 over here okay now alpha beta we know all the values if i will put all the values and if i will mathematically cal calculate see omega is cube root of unity omega is minus 1 plus i root 3 this is general value of omega omega is square it is complex conjugate of omega over 2 so if i will put all the values what i am saying alpha what put the value of alpha 0 0.766 plus 0.642 i this is alpha now omega omega is minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 similarly beta beta is 0 0.766 minus 0 0.642 i and what is omega I square i will write minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2 if i will only mathematically calculate we will get minus 1.8793 it is our second solution second root first was 1.532 second is minus 1.8793 and if you will calculate similarly you will calculate x3 by putting the value of alpha omega square beta and omega you will get your solution third solution 0 0.3472 you can compare the results by solving yourself i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video take care of yourself bye